Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. As kids, we would have said this rhyme umpteen number of times tirelessly. We have also used the My Very Educated Mother just showed us nine planets funda to remember the name of the planets. But actually, how many of us gaze at the stars in the night sky and wonder what the unexplained mystery of the universe are? How many of us wish to see the shooting star as shown in the Bollywood cinema and make a wish hoping that it comes true? A shooting star, a bright constellation, has only whetted the appetite to know more about the universe. Planetariums are a best place for us to know more about the universe, the solar and the planetary systems. A visit to a planetarium can be enriching experience. The TMA Pi Planetarium at Manipal in Udupi district is such a place. Trees and plants burst into bud and blossom. Even flyless trees are adorned with colorful tender. The days gradually start growing longer and warm. But the nights are still somewhat cool and pleasant because of the gentle cool breeze. A planetarium is a theatre built primarily for presenting educational and entertaining shows about astronomy and the night sky. Most planetariums have a large dome-shaped projection screen onto which scenes of stars, planets and other celestial objects can be made to appear and move realistically to simulate the complex motions of the heavens. The celestial scenes can be created using a wide variety of technologies. The objective is normally to link the technologies together to provide an accurate relative motion of the sky. Typical systems can be set to display the sky at any point in time, past or present, and often to show the night sky as it would appear from any point of latitude on Earth. What a beauteous sight! It looks as if Lord Kubeir, the god of wealth, has poured his precious diamonds. This triggered his imagination and he grouped the stars to form imaginary figures. Some with mythological heroes, some with animals and some with birds. The TMA Pi Planetarium, situated in the heart of Manipal and is housed in a beautiful 3,000 square feet complex. It includes a planetarium, an exhibition lobby and an auditorium. The planetarium has an 8 meter diameter sky dome. The seating capacity of this fully air-conditioned planetarium is 70. Every day, two shows are conducted, one in Canada and the other in English. Four shows are held whenever there are special bookings from schools. This famous red spot on Jupiter is actually a very huge storm or hurricane in the atmosphere. Red spot is 13,000 km long and 13,000 km wide. In other words, the red spot is so large that three Earths can be placed in it side by side. Have you ever pondered over the thought if astrology and astronomy are related in some way or the other? Both deal with the planets and their position at certain points of time. We asked Shri Kumar Menon the question, and this is what he had to say. 
today the stand that most modern scientists have is that uh, i mean the planets have nothing to do with your future or the way things unfold in your life basically because they're so far away that even though they're massive their gravity doesn't really play any part in your uh, on the on the scale of human affairs but the thing is that uh, in the in uh, uh, earlier times the ancients observed the sky they saw certain pattern they saw certain cycles recurring there so they tried to uh, relate it with events on the on the ground for example uh, definitely the, the the solar cycle and the lunar cycle have effects on the weather and things like that those are established things. but then there are also some at some point astronomy and astrology parted ways so uh, and then astrology became more of a superstition i would say and un a system of unfounded beliefs whereas astronomy has progressed on and gone into astrophysics now we are not just looking at the position we are also wondering at what these objects are what their composition is and we made very good uh, you know rapid progress and this thing one small thing is that you could see that astronomy the uh, latest references would be a few uh, months old or a few days old so it's con continuously evolving whereas astrologers keep looking at their old texts that varaha mira and aryabhata and all that have uh, you know formulated so they they began together and somewhere they parted ways i guess so every year we are getting nearly 16000 to 17000 uh, people are visiting in that most of them are uh, school children so from a different part of karnataka are visiting to this uh, planetarium uh, basically like uh, most of them are high school and elementary school children are coming for this so we are having that uh, night starry sky program what we are presently we are showing from the beginning itself we are showing that same program uh, it's about that uh, stars and some constellations all those things are coming from that particular show actually every day we are having program in the morning on 10:30 we are showing uh, english program and 11:30 we are showing kannada program so but uh, depending on like uh, depending on people like that how many people are visiting depending on that particular thing we are conducting the program so we are having one astronomy club that is taken care by mr menon from market department of mit he is taking care of all those things they are conducting some seminars regarding that astronomy and uh, some uh, film shows about the astronomy these are the things uh, they are doing all this during the last 24 years india has launched many satellites into space such as rohini bhaskar series irs series and insat series the show entitled tari skies covers the galaxies and the solar system it starts with a tribute to tma pi and goes on to explain the configuration of the sky so as to enhance the general awareness of the planetary system each show is of 40 minutes duration a very huge cloud of hot gas emitting orange and red colors it's the birthplace of stars New stars are being born there out of this hot gas. Such an explosion marks the death of a star, and the debris left behind is the scrap nebula in which expanding gas is seen after the explosion. A minimal cost of rupees ten per person is charged for the visitors. closed on tuesdays it is open on all other six days including sundays yeah we are charging around 10 rupees per candidate which for all it's uh, same actually it's for children as well as for adults it is the same uh, the capacity sitting capacity is 69 students we can accommodate at a time actually but uh, there is no concession because as of now like that we are charging very less only the nominal fees we are charging is around 10 rupees national science day we are uh, showing that free shows for all the students actually There's a different school children. School uh, children are coming for to visit to this planetarium, and on that particular day, uh, we are showing a free show for all of them. So maximum, I think, around five to six shows we are conducting on that particular day. The Astronomy Club of Manipal has been active for a long time. They organize activities, but what is special is that it is not limited to the club members alone. Anyone interested can attend them. It's not uh, like officially bounded. It's a uh, we you know it's a mutually dependent uh, relationship between the astronomy club and the planetarium. 
we use its facilities and the planetarium gets facilitated by mahe because of the astronomy club so it's a two way thing which is happening the astronomy club organizes uh, presentations dome shows night sky observations some photo exhibitions just to spread across the message of astronomy you know a lot of people have a lot of confusion so first of all all we try is uh, clear that out uh, among the campus uh, among the students of mahe so major activities are small presentations which are given by the members themselves dome shows which are generally uh, given by the board members of astronomy club and uh, night sky observation that end point or any other clear location we can, where like where we can catch the night sky open night sky uh, it's basically you know a lot of people are interested but then they don't know where to go even like they know the planetarium is here but they then they don't know who to contact so it's like a student body which helps them you know get in touch with the planetarium get in touch with the field and to talk uh, talk about their own ideas what they have because a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions you know related to the movies and things which which come out so we have some documentaries from discovery channel or thing like that which we show and then you know just spread the message basically we try to involve a lot of people but the thing is that you know at end point we try to gather uh, the members of astronomy club it's, it's around a group of 50 to 70 and to handle and you know to actually make each and every one active you know at some time they do feel that you know they're sitting and watching the sky but then most of the time we try to keep them busy like trying to identify the constellations or setting up the telescope or looking through it or things like that now as you can see like uh, the rainy season has come so all, all the outdoor activities are, are like at the moment stalled for like the night sky and thing because we cannot find uh, like clear skies but we do have an annual astronomy like uh, semester uh, uh, astronomy workshop so that will be happening next semester and uh, presentations by members and dome shows the planetarium started functioning in may 2000 it draws visitors from urpi district mangalore and also karnataka kerala border with children constituting its major audiences we see more than 100000 stars packed together to form a globe this is a globular star cluster the stars are so densely packed in the center that we see only a bright core in the center the diameter of this cluster is 33 light years it is the only planetarium in the undivided district of dakshina kannada next one being in bangalore and the third one in calicut kerala it is a very huge star emitting red color it is therefore called the super red giant star it has a diameter of about 500 million kilometers So next time you want to gaze at the stars or get information about the celestial bodies planetarium is the place you have to go along with cameraman Austin Pinto this is Flavian Quadris for TV Digi World